Hi guys, today we have another unboxing video. Now, it is a bit of a strange one. You can't really tell much by the box, look at the box. Bear with me one second, let me just fix this. We've got just a, a bit of an issue here with the with my app. Sorry for stretching. Got like a screen to help me look at one looking, but I can't get it to work properly. I don't know why. Never a good start. Very synchronized. Do I need to say synchronize? Let's see, can I see my hands? Yes, I can. There we go. So yeah, you can't tell much by the packaging. So this is a KVM switch by Anker. We're going to quickly run the box. So this is an Anker USB 3.0 KVM switch. Cables included, used like new. So this is a used product that I bought from Amazon. Uh, this is for my own personal use. I can't, for the love of God, I can't remember how much I paid for this. But this is the KVM switch for 4K for desktops and laptops. Does it have any descriptions in here? No fast charging, 18 months, free hassle warranty. Okay, nothing else on there, guys. So, sorry about that. So, we're going to take this tab off. Oh, so the model of this KVM switch is A83K8, if that means anything to you. So we'll unpeel this if we can. Okay, that came off. Easy enough. We need to appreciate these boxes. Let's see how it's packaged. Sorry for buying these products, but okay. Take this box out of the way. And so in the box, what you will find is wow, this is heavy. Okay, anything else? Yeah, so is a support QR code by Anchor. Scan the QR code below for more support. Safety sheet, another QR code, user guide. Um, and that's about it with that. So this is probably the KVM switch itself. Yeah. So at the front you've got, was that the front? I don't even know if that's the front, that's the back. That would be the front, wouldn't it? It seems to that to be the front. You've got four USB A's uh, and one USB C. Now, this two is smart for peripherals. I don't know if you can see. Uh, these are just data ports and USB C data. Five gigabit uh, gigabit per second are these ones. You got your switch at the top for PC one and PC two. At the back. You've got your inputs, so you can get power delivery in. You can get your five gigabit port again, five gigabit, and your HDMI for PC2. So the gigabit ports themselves, I don't know if you're familiar with this. So the gigabit ports are for the uh, data. So basically you've got your, so for in this particular case, this is for the Mac mini power delivery in, and then you've got your other port for the, you know, for the, all the peripherals and all the additional ports of the, of the front. And the same with this, you've got your HDMI to your desktop and another USB-C cable to go to your machine for all the ports of the front. And you've got the HDMI out with which you obviously switch toggle. So this is the hub. It looks okay. Now we'll get this out of the box. Let's see what else we got. A lot of cables. Yeah. I don't know if I like it or hate it. Let's have a look. Yeah, so. Oh, I've missed something. Sorry. So you got the audios, you know, for the head, for headphone jack, which is quite okay. I, I think I, I do actually like this because I can connect my. Um, um, DAC unit, digital audio control unit, directly. And then on the other hand, you got your remote, which is this. Just a toggle switch with the cable. Uh, it's quite long. The cable is okay. There's not much of an elasticity to the cable, so uh, you can navigate this accordingly. It feels 
generally feels okay. I don't, I don't see how this is not really a. This this quite used to be fair. Like looking, there's a lot of catches like, but at least the individual who used this and returned it managed to, you know, cable wrap the actual cable itself and pack it up again. Uh, you know, rolled it nicely. Then you got your HDMI. This is uh, it doesn't actually say it on air, but this is a HDMI supposed 4K, but only at 60 hertz. Obviously, if you go down in uh, if if you go down in uh, resolution, you will be able to get more frequency out of it, uh, more hertz basically, uh, more refresh rates. You got an anchor cable. USB-C so uh, which is actually quite okay for this like because I can get the power delivery in and see this is what I need to establish and so do, would that mean that I need to still get power in separately to the everything else if I do we might be in a bit of a pickle and I think we might be in a bit of a pickle now there's only one HDMI cable why do it be only one HDMI cable and one USB A to USB C cable? Hmm. Okay. A bit confused here, like so. I've got one USB C, one HDMI. Would I expect to have more HDMI's, or would I not expect to have more HDMI's? Slightly confused here, to be fair, guys. I, I don't actually know. Um, let me quickly. There's nothing else else inside the box, so I would say, if that is the case, this is for the power delivery, and this is the normal stuff that you get connected. But why only one? It just doesn't make sense to me. If if I'm using this, you either send all the cables that I need for my two devices, i.e. In this particular case, I'll need three USB-C's and two HDMI's. But instead, I've get I got two USB-C's, one of them USB-C to A, one HDMI. So, is it to run these two? I suppose it's to run these two. And then, but it's a KVM switch. Why you would send me? I don't get it anyway. Um, yeah, so that about that, that's about it. But I don't know how much it costs. Uh, I'm trying to. The user guide itself does not actually tell me. It's a bit strange this to be fair, would not I'm just trying to see if there's anything that indicates to me anything about the content. Nope. Nothing about the content. Um bear with me, let me just quickly I'm I'm very curious like I'm just gonna log on my desktop quickly. And uh, look at the content list on Amazon where I purchased this from. Pick up today, KVM switch. Yeah, okay, so the, the pork itself is £70 or £69.99 on Amazon. It says cables included. So, what you get is the anchor KVM switch. You got 3.3 feet USB-C to USB-C cable, okay. 4.9 feet USB-A to USB-C cable. 4.9 feet HDMI cable. Magnetic remote button. Safety sheet. And 18 months warranty. Right, okay. I understand. So this is all you get, guys. So this is all you get. So I would suspect they, or they would expect you to be able to find these other two cables to come from your PC, get your other system, and just go HDMI out. Hmm. A lot to think about here, but do you know the first quality? So they're saying that this is magnetic. Is it? How can I test it? I've got some weights here. Oh, you see, that's actually magnetic, guys. It's a strong magnet, actually. Look at look at how it pulls. That's a strong magnet. Don't ask me why I got weights on the table. Uh, yeah, so for $69.99, I bought this used. I think I bought it for like 40 quid. I think it's okay. I think it's all right. You've got a lot of enough USB ports to the front. 
um, you've got your thingies for the devices obviously it's only one out so you can only support one display which for me is sufficient for now but I'm getting a, another KVM switch from Anka uh, the other one that I'm looking at is more expensive but it can support two, two displays um, so we'll definitely look into that and we're going to compare and see which one is actually worth it for me for my ears I believe I may stay with uh, with this one because it's a lot cheaper but I'll see the other one as well and yeah and get, give a bit of a feedback on it but for now I'll conclude this video again these are not uh, sponsored video and uh, none of this is sponsored you see this is uh, these items are by myself and I unbox them for you so uh, I do hope you like these kind of videos they're quite simple they're quite straightforward um, we don't go into much detail but they're, they're as organic as they can be and if, if you do like them uh, I'll be really happy if you can like and subscribe to this video but for now take care and have a good night